Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today let's uh, let's answer this question. So, um, can I know difference? Okay, so basically uh, difference between background and foreground, and also the course scale field pattern. Okay, so let's start. So first, let's create a project. And so I'll, I'll quickly uh, explain what the core what the course scale field pattern is used for okay so in revit there um, there are uh, some diff uh, some uh, system families so, such as wall okay uh, floor such as floor i'll just draw a floor here and roof okay and ceiling uh, I'll just use sketch seating and draw a box here. Okay, so now maybe, uh, maybe I'll just uh, move it, move this wall here and rotate it by 90 degrees. So I can use this. So I know uh, the roof ceiling here because it's not um, in the view range. So if we change to side plane, we should be able to see the roof and the ceiling. So now if I go to uh, view, so this view, so now. Okay, so this is a view with course uh, detail level. Okay, so this is uh, used usually. Um, usually, I like to use this for early stage because it's quite uh, easy to control. So because it doesn't matter. So sometimes you. So for example, if you use uh, uh, even this, um, see this one double brick. There's a different layers in it, but at early stage. You probably don't want to see uh, if if you change to median, you will see all these layers. But it will, for concept design, you don't, probably don't want to see them. So you can just easily just change the course, and then to ch to control the pattern or the color, you just need to go to edit type. See here, so course scale fill pattern. So currently it's solid with this color, and then that's it. Same. Um, so this is a, a floor, so the same you can. So because currently there's no pattern, so it will show as a uh, white. So once you change this to a solid, it will become the color, whichever color it's uh, under here. Oh, sorry, this one. So you can very easily. So for example, early stage you have a you know a, a, a two wall, a roof, <laughs> a ceiling here. So and then you just need to you can just use this to control to make them so for example make them all gray and then suddenly they are all the same pattern doesn't matter uh, what material they are so on the course scale they looks all the same okay same the seating so you can see uh, change to solid change it to the same color and then suddenly. <laughs> So you can even, you know, I think maybe you can join them. See, so doesn't need the same material at all. So just create some very uh, early stage uh, schematic design um, model or section. Okay, so this is it. So this is a, um, um, this is uh, what's this course scale field pattern. Okay. Okay, so um, yeah, of course, once you change this to other than course, it will all uh, bring back all the materials, all the p patterns for each um, layer for different materials. So, for example, for the brick, so it's controlled by this. Okay, so now let's talk about um, ground background foreground okay so so this there are um, different uh, this surface pattern there, there are different patterns so for example, material so if, if you go to material so for each material there are see one two three four so two for surface pattern and two for cut pattern okay so previously we only have one but I think maybe things maybe two or three years ago, um, we, we had two for each. So this is good because previously we, uh, for example, um, 
uh, I want maybe just go to floor plan and I'll just create something okay create a new floor so I'll edit duplicate I'll just call it maybe I just create a tile floor and I'll also create a new tile material let's call it a tile and then so we can use so because we have two two so you can choose to have a pattern with a background so for example so I want to create a a gray a little gray color tile pattern so so what we can do is so um, and also make sure because um, foreground for foreground pattern you can you can choose either um, drafting or model so um, most of the time if it's uh, for real material like for example tile you want to use model because this will control the size of the pad um, of the the pattern so for example if we want to have um, so 600 by 600 tiles you, you should you should always use a model okay so okay now uh, we have six 600 by 600 so if I click OK and OK and OK so now we have a tile floor okay so that that's that's good but if we we can also um, add a background so if we go back there see background we can add so in all so this is the difference for background you don't have this option you don't have the model option you can only use drafting okay so what you can do is you can add patterns so uh, sometimes I like to use a solid color and use for example a very light gray so something like that and uh, sometimes this can be quite nice to a little color to um, on the floor plan um, it can can be quite quite nice so yeah just be um, careful because sometimes um, because it's a solid uh, surface pattern so on the hidden line it will um, I think let me just try to go to 3d view try to because um, they, which means it's always and there will be a color so even you you use hidden line because some we might uh, some might think that um, when you use hidden line you should always like black and white but sometimes if you if you uh, so this is gray if I change to um, so you can change a different uh, color so for example uh, uh, a little blue and and you might it might confuse uh, people because uh, usually we use hidden us uh, a shade to, to uh, show a little bit color but some people might think oh what, what what's going on here even I, I use hidden line and still see those colors so this is um, so actually this is how you can use color in hidden line drawings <laughs> okay so yeah so now let's go back to um, let's go back to the foreground and background setting I think um, yeah I think that's pretty much it so 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 these two settings just give give you opportunity to create some thing you know rather than just one pattern you can so so for them solid solid so you don't you don't uh, you can have different um, different uh, so for example you can just try this one so uh, should be the same sand sand so so other than these you can also have a little texture so that yeah that's it what else oh and also uh, the same so uh, you can also use use these two um, fourth sorry force and for oh, sorry foreground and background for field region so you can also use you 
so let me just create one um, but the same I believe it's the same so you will see for background you can only use a uh, drafting but for foreground you can use both okay so let me just quickly um, square 100 by 100 square so you can choose different color and for a uh, uh, background you can choose a drafting pattern so for example a solid um, uh, blue <laughs> yeah and that's it um, what else um, okay so and also just quickly to show you some uh, tips or, and tricks for draft um, and some difference between drafting and uh, model for I'll just quickly just maybe I'll use uh, use field region so because it's easier so I'll just create a field region okay so and then I'll just duplicate create a new I'll create a drafting okay the so draft drafting so this is a drafting and I'll just use a pattern okay so I'll use so for example uh, cross hatch three mil so which means when you when you have this uh, field region and doesn't matter what scale you use in that view when it, when you print this out or you know print to PDF or uh, just you <coughs> excuse me if it, when you when you print this out and if you measure it it will be always it will always be uh, 3 mil okay so for example if you use 1 to 100 scale and if you use 1 to 200 scale you'll find oh, the pattern changes okay so this is uh, the this is a, the property of <laughs> drafting drafting um, pattern okay so if I'll just quickly create another one okay so this time I'll just call it a model so if you use model so here so um, one two oh actually I'm going to create so create a new one so I'll call it 300 by 300 because currently 1 to 100 100 times 3 equals 3 so if I create a 3 by 300 and so I'll just type in 300 uh, oh sorry wrong one cross, cross hatch 0 300 and 300 and oh, I forgot I forgot to name it 300 by 300 so because the it's 100 by 100, 100 uh, 1 to 100 so you will see they are exactly the same size right but when I change change scale so the model pattern will not change it will always be 300 by 300 if I draw a line so you will see that's 300 right but if you change the scale the, uh, the drafting uh, pattern will change okay so this is one difference the scale and also another difference is so for example this one you won't be able to pick so you, this is drafting uh, you so you see I can't I can't I can't pick the 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 line in this pattern see and also if I just draw a line trying to align it there's no way I can rotate or so it will always be like this so even you try to rotate this and see this field region so uh, imagine this is a floor if you it's the same if you apply a material with a drafting uh, pattern it will not follow it will always follow the, the screen in this view okay and then this one this is a model pattern so if I rotate it you will see this pattern will follow follow the, the model so in, uh, if, if this is a floor or whatever it, the surface is because this is field region but um, exactly the same and for this model so model pattern so you will see if I tab you can select this one and one with once you select you can even drag it 
or you can use move okay you can even use rotate RO right and also you can use a, a line so I'll just draw a line there so for example I want this pattern to follow this so follow this line so AL and you can just pick any of this line and suddenly this pattern will follow that line okay so yep yeah, so this is another uh, difference between draft drafting and the model um, is that is it enough yep yeah, 15 minutes I think that's that's it that's enough for today um, okay so if you have any questions so um, just uh, want to apologize um, it's been uh, quite busy recently <laughs> so if if you have any questions just uh, just uh, write it here or paste the photos images sketches and I will yeah I will answer it as soon as possible okay so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time thank you bye